So let's look at this question on set theory. Now you're given that if u is equal to x, such that x is a natural number and 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 10, a is equal to x such that x is in u and x is divisible by 2, b is equal to x such that x is in u and x is divisible by 3, and you're given that c is equal to x such that x is in u and x is divisible by 5. All right, I says list the elements of a, b, and c. All right, I've already taught set theorem from the very scratch. Okay, I'll leave a link to a class on set theorem from the very scratch in the video description. All right, so check video description, you see a link to the video on set theorem, including Venn diagram and all of that. Okay, all right, let's get straight to this question here. Number one, there or I, I says list the elements in. A, B, and C. All right. And before we do that, our first task will be to get U. So, what exactly is U? U is called the universal set. And for the universal set, we ask, we are told that um, X is a natural number and 1 is less than X is less than or equal to 10. That means X should be from the value of X is between 1 and 10. But then in this case here, observe that if you're given something like this, 1. Um, less than x, less than or equal to 10. Now, let's say we have the numbers 1 to 10, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, for a case like this, observe that you have less than and equal to. When you have an equal to here, it means that number 10 will be included. Now, when you have 1 being less than x, of course, if you have that 1 is less than x, it means that x is greater than 1, all right? So, what that means is that since there is no equal to attached to this one here, what that means is that 1 will not be included. So, 1 will not be included. So, I'll start from 2 up to 10, okay? So, when you have a less than and there's no equal to, you don't include that number. So, for this question here, since we have 1 less than, there's no equal to here, so I'll start from 2. So this becomes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Please know why I'm adding 10 here. If you look at the past involving 10, you see that it's less than or equal to. So because of that, all equal to, I will include 10. All right, the I part says list the elements in A. So I pass, let's get the elements in A. So for A, what do we have? What exactly is element or is set A? Set A says, um, this question here says that A is equal to X such that X is in U and X is divisible by 2. Now, when we say divisible by 2, it means 2 can divide it without a remainder. So if you look at the numbers that are divisible by 2, they are obviously your even numbers such as 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So that becomes the element in A, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So now close your curly brackets. You also ask for the elements in B. So let's see B. How did you define set B? Let's see. We said um, B, B is equal to X such that X is in U and X is divisible by 3. All right. So divisible by 3 becomes 3, 6, 9, 12, eight, C. But in this case, we have just 3, 6, and 9. All right. So the answer here becomes 3. 6 and 9. All right. Next up, they said, and C. So, elements, element C or set C, what are the elements? Set so set C is equal to X such that X is in U and X is divisible by 5. So, divisible by 5, what do I have there? If you go with divisible by 5, it becomes 5, 10, 15, and etc. So, it starts with just 5 and 10. So, you have just two elements there. 5 and 10, that becomes 5 comma 10. So I have 5 comma 10 as the answer. So observe the way I'm using my curly brackets. All right, so use curly brackets too. By curly bracket, I mean this and this. They are called curly brackets. All right, let's proceed. Let's look at the II parts. II. II said the first thing we have to find here is 
A intersection B. Let's get A intersection B. So A intersection B. Now, intersection simply means those elements that they have in common. So look at A and B. Do they have any elements in common? Yes, the answer is what? 6. So A has 6, B has 6. So A intersection B is actually equal to 6. And that's the only thing they have in common. Okay. A intersection C. Let's get A intersection C. A intersection C. What do I have there? Let's see A and C. A has 10. C has 10. That's the only element they have in common. So A intersection C is equal to 10. That's your answer. All right. Next one is A union B intersection C. What does that mean? Let's first of all get A union B. So A union B. Let's get this first. A union B simply means I'm combining all the elements in A and B. That becomes 2, 3, 4, 6. You don't repeat 6, all right? Whenever an element is, is it's, uh, common between both of them, you don't repeat it. So it becomes 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. That's A union B. So A union B is now 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So this is what I get if I combine the elements of A and B without repetition. But you're asked to find A union B intersection C. So hence, from this, we'll have that A union B intersection C will simply be equal to the intersection means what A union B and C have in common. So look for the elements that can be found in A union B. That's this and C. That's this. And if I look at that, the only element I can find in, in these two sets, that's this set and this set, would be 10. 10 is found in both of them. So the answer here is 10. All right, so A union B intersection C is 10. So you have this. All right, what's next in there? I, I, I. List the elements of A minus B. So I, let's look at I, I, I. I, I, I. List the elements of A minus B. Now, what this is called is the difference between two sets. All right? So if I have two sets A and B, the difference between the sets is A and B. Now, what is A minus B? The difference between the two sets is A minus B, right? What does A minus B mean? For A minus B, you look for those elements that are in A but not in B. That's it. So look for the elements that, that are in A but not in B. If you look at this, in A, I have 2, 4, 8, 10. You don't count 6 because 6 is there. So you don't count 6. So the elements that are in A but not in B includes 2, 4, 8, 10. All right, so that's equal to 2, 4, 8, 10. All right, so it's always the element in this set that is not in this second set. That's how we do this, okay? All right, that's A minus B. What's the next again there? B minus C. Um, okay, B minus C. Let's get B minus C. B minus C is equal to, what's B minus C? Again, B minus C means the elements in B that are not in C. All right, look for those elements that are in B, but not in C. If I come here, what are the elements in B that are not in C? I have 3 in B. 3 is not in C, so that's correct. I have 6 in B. 6 is not in C, that's correct. I have 9 in B. 9 is not in C. So the answer becomes 3, 6, 9. So this becomes 3, 6, 9. These are the elements in B that are not in C. All right, next one here we have is A union B intersection C prime. All right. We already got A union B intersection C as 10. So if we are to get A union B intersection C prime, now, what does this prime mean, right? This prime is called a complement of a set. Now, what this means is that I'll get the elements that are in the universal sets, but not in um, A union B intersection C. Or in a layman's term, if I look at A union B intersection C, I have 10. So it means go back to your universal sets, this, 
cancel out 10 because I already have 10 there. Now take out these other elements that are not there. That's what it means. So that becomes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, right? But the, the, the prime there or the complement means I would get those elements that are in the universal set but not in A union B intersection C. That, that would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We already have 10. We already have 10 in A union B intersection C. So I will not include that one. All right, so this is the answer to this question here. Next up, I have A intersection B union C um, prime. All right, so your tax is this. Get the answer of this question here. All right, get the answer of this question. Leave it in the comment section. What do you think would be A intersection B union C prime? Now, how do you solve this? Very simple. First of all, get the value of A intersection B. And do we have that already? Okay, so we already have A intersection B here as 6. Okay, so it becomes 6. Next thing you have here is now union C. That means combine 6 to element to to set c that becomes so that would now be six or with c we have five six and ten so you have this that means a um a intersection b yep a intersection b union c would be five six ten now take the complement i already explained how complement works so take the complement and then leave your answer in the um comment section and i'll tell you if you're correct Let's proceed with this. IV. So IV says we should evaluate. Um, okay. Evaluate N of A intersection B. And that's equal to. Uh, let me confirm this. Yep. It is, okay, fine. So this is correct. Now what N here means. This is called the cardinality of a set. Again, I've explained all of these concepts in our previous class where I discuss set in its entirety okay so you can go and watch the full video on sets and everything about sets from the very scratch including venn diagram i'll leave the link of that video in the video description all right so check video description or pin comment and you'll see the link to that video now what this means is that n means find the total number this n means find the total number of elements that exist in a intersection b if i come to a intersection b look at this here now, how many elements do you have as your answer here? You just have one element, which is what there? Six. So it means that A intersection B has just one element, which is six. So the answer is one. That's what it means. Okay, next one is um, cardinality. That's N of A, what is that union? A union B intersection C. A union B intersection C equal to again as i said before this simply means um do you have a union b intersection c let's see a okay we have this here a union b intersection c so you can see it here there's it here so how many elements do you have in this is just one element which is what there 10 so you have just one element which is 10 so a union b intersection c is equal to one element which is 10 so the answer here is one all right so this, this intersection only tells you the number of elements in that set. So in this set here, the number of elements is just one set. And that set is, is 10. So you have just one, set, one number there, right? Or one element in that. All right, what next here? Next one here says P of C, right? Um, P of C. P is called par set, okay? Par set tells you the number of subsets. And for P of C, the formula is simply 2 to power N. That's how we get this. Again, 2. I've explained this um, in our previous class. All right. So check video description and then see what this means in full. All right. Now, the, the power set of, a, of any set gives the total number of subsets that can be formed. The formula is 2 to power N. What's N? N is equal to the number of elements in that set. So if you say P of C, We'll go to set C and see how many elements we have there. For set C, we have two elements, which are what there? 5 and 10, as you can see here. So that means in this case, N is equal to 2. So for set C, N is equal to 2 because we have just two elements there. 
So it means that t of c will be equal to 2 to the power n. n is 2. That becomes 2 to the power 2. And that's equal to 4. So therefore, the power set p is e p of, of um, set c. p of c is equal to 4. So it means that four subsets can be formed from set C. All right. All right, guys. So this is how you solve this question. Okay. All right, then. So you can visit my website, www.junaimano.com. All right. There you can see the courses and the book section. All right. So go to the courses and the book section. Don't forget, you have to register an account to the website. So go to my account, right? Click on my account, register an account to the website for free, and then you can now proceed to get any of the available books or courses from the website, okay? All right, then. Also, don't forget to join my channel membership, okay? So I'll leave a link to my channel membership in the video description, all right? So you can check any of the... So you can check out any of the available membership package that you want, and then you can join my channel membership for exclusive videos, okay? All right, then. If you enjoyed this video, as usual, please hit the like button and leave a comment. All right, so like this video and leave a comment. For the comment, tell us the answer of this question. So I left one question for you, right? The question here is A intersection B union C prime. What's the answer to this question here? Leave the answer to this question here in the video comments. All right, so leave it in the comment section and I will tell you if your answer is correct. If it's your first time here, please do well to hit the subscribe button, all right? Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content or a new video. And finally, as usual, please share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you for the continuous support and see you in our next class.